Gary Dimchurch does it himself. Yeah, I've been doing this place up for a while now, and you tend to get quite caught up in it. I find it very helpful to set all my tools up in the kitchen in case I need to make something to eat. <laughs> for example, a hand roll. You get your roll, stick it in the vice there, and then what you want to do, cut up the middle with a jigsaw. Nice clean cut. See, look at that. Straight to the A1. You release it from the vice, keep the crust away for safety. Open it up, offer up the ham, like that. Down comes the lid, bang! But look, oh dear, the ham is proud of the roll. No problem, back in the vice, cross the weight of safety, obviously. Give it a couple of extra turns for luck. Get this sander, there we go. And we sand off the excess ham. Look at that, <laughs> Mr. Ham's got no chance. Captain Sander wins the day. And let's have a look at it. Whoa, perfection. <laughs> Smooth as a baby's bum. All right, you've seen enough of that. Now, what we do now, we take the mastic and seal all round the edge there. Keep it nice and tight. Keep out everything, rain, sleet, thunder, wind, and keep the ham nice and dry to a depth of 50 metres. And job done. Look at that, nothing's getting in there. You could go to the moon with that, that ham would stay fresh as a daisy. But oh no, say you're making a roll for Uncle Frank. He loves mustard. Right, we're going to have to access the ham. Bang. You're no good. Goodbye. Let's have a look. Look at that. Five self tapping screws, two inch, donkey hinge. And we're ready for round two. Ding, ding. 